Good morning. I have a Genie Pro Accelerator that doesn't seem to work anymore. Uh, I press the button, nothing happens. When it was, sometimes I might hear some clicking of a relay, but uh, nothing happens. And I, I unplug the power cord, wait for a few seconds, plug it back in, and then it'll work once, but then it doesn't work again. So let's go take a look at this thing and see how we're going to fix it. Okay, here's what we see on the inside. You see the, the LED? It's flashing twice, which says controller failure. And also in here is the down force, the up force, which are both turned up all the way. Make sure those aren't turned down too low. And there is a, a button for the learn mode for programming the remote. So that's what we have right here. So controller failure is what it says. We start by unplugging the power cord and then removing the two light bulbs. Okay, with the light bulbs removed, next we'll be removing the four screws. You see there's a, I got a Phillips head screw. Let's get in the camera here. Phillips head screwdriver. It's gonna go into the, the hole there, the hole there. There's a hole here and a hole there. So let's unscrew those four screws. Here's a tip before you start is take a magnet and run your screwdriver across the magnet and get all nice and magnetized. And then your screwdriver will, will, will not lose the screws as easily. Okay, I ended the four screws. And you can see I kind of closed up the, uh, the white access panel and that kind of caught some of my screws as I was taking them out as well. So that worked out nicely, but uh, so the four screws are out. You can kind of see there's a hinge in the back here. Let's get a, hopefully you can see the hinge. So it was an easier view of this hinge. Push that thing forward and you can kind of see where the, the hinge un, unhinges here. I hope I'm getting that on camera. And but, just put that back into there. So anyway, here's our controller board. And you can kind of see the green LED, which was the blinking LED, is blinking twice, saying controller failure. Here's a red LED and the, the learn button, and that's of course for programming the remote. And then here's the, the door open, or actually yeah, I think it was door close force and door open force is the two potentiometers. And you can kind of see a main uh, motor controller board over the left, the top, the controller board, it appears to have a couple of uh, bolts holding in there. And the main thing to look at is this ribbon cable, which the manual suggests that the ribbon cable may have issues. Okay, you can see we got the, the outer housing resting here. I just took it off the hinges. Now you can see uh, the white wire. You can see the blue wire going right there. You can see them coming down. So anyway, uh, with a pair of long nose pliers, you can unhook these if you want to get this thing out of the way. It'd make it a lot easier to work on it. Although you could work on it with the thing hinged. It's probably a lot easier if you remove it. I can't do this in one hand, so let me just do it right now. Well, let's look at this circuit board here. I got a little light on it. Okay, uh, you can see that there's over here, there's some RF componentry for the remote control. Not very much. There's uh, basically one big transistor and you can see that large uh, green resistor. Actually, you can see a lot of discoloring. See how there's a little discoloring around that big transistor? That's probably something that dissipates a little heat. That resistor looks like it dissipates a little heat. And then basically we have our, our ribbon cable here. So there's not much we can actually do around here. Everything looks okay. And uh, there is one thing that we can do here. Hold on. We have the ribbon cable. And we can kind of see it hooks up in the circuit board and wiggle very carefully it comes out and I'm going to just wiggle in here make sure it's nice and tight in here and maybe that fixed my garage door I don't know but uh, anyway uh, let's see safety first before I plug in the the garage door opener I took those two wires the blue wire and the white wire wrapped them up with, with something to to keep them from touching anything or accidentally me touching them we gotta remember uh, safety first. So let's just see whether it was a corroded contact at the ribbon cable, like uh, perhaps the, the user's manual suggested. Let's just see if I fix this thing. Okay, we're plugged back in. 
and let's press the button. Well, it's going up very slowly, and this is what it was doing before. This is maybe part of the problem, but maybe it's because it lost power. I was reading on forums that sometimes just losing power causes it to go up slowly. But uh, I, I've gone through this a bunch of times, unplugging and plugging, and it works once, but then when I go to close, it won't work again. Okay, now it's all open here. Let's press the button again. Oh, well, it's working. The first time I opened and closed, it went really slow. Let's try a second time. Oh, look at this, now it's going up regular speed. This is going up at the, the 2x accelerated speed. Well, it looks like I fixed it. I think everything is working just fine now. And uh, maybe it's a little corrosion at those connectors. That's uh, about all there was. Just uh, unplugging that connector and plugging, plugging it back in again was enough to uh, clean off the corrosion and get the garage door to where it's working now. So, uh, success.